How's everybody doing tonight? Fantastic. Hey, we're going to jump right in. We're um, continuing this series called Christmas Playlist, where we are diving into some popular Christmas songs to find the deeper meaning underneath. Okay? And so last week, what was the song that we did? Yeah, and we heard some, we heard some fantastic performances, I'm going to say. Like, some good stuff. Some good stuff. So this week... We would continue the fun. We've got a little song. I wonder if you guys have ever heard of it. It's a song that is all about. Oh man, I almost just want to play it for you. Is there a way to play this song without showing the video? No? Okay. It's the one called Last Christmas. They know it. Okay. Here's the deal. I'm going to need two contestants again. What guy knows that song? Bella and Nathan are going to be our fantastic contestants. Now here's how this is going to work. It's going to be a little different than last week because it's actually going to show on the screen when you're supposed to sing. Okay? Do you feel, do you feel good about this? Yeah? You ready? Okay. So, it's going to show on the screen when you're supposed to sing. You got it? You got it? And this is the point. This is a big deal. So. Judges, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Let's play the song. You'll see. It, it'll play. Feel free to clap along. Here we go.
see those numbers. Come on now. Drum roll for Mr. Nathan. What do we got? What do we got? A bunch of tens and nines. Oh man, how are we gonna do this? I think, I think we have, we have, yep. Yeah, okay, we had a little more for Bella than for Nathan. That was a fantastic move for somebody. By far, my favorite part, though, was the, the ending there. That was, that was amazing. Oh, we're the <laughs> hey, I have a question. Has anyone ever not heard that song? I don't Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It seems like ever gone to a like ball ever. That song plays everywhere. And, all right, guys. You guys rock. Yeah. Let's it down for a second. Okay. My turn. We're gonna do the peace signs. All right, we're bringing it down, guys. So if you've ever heard that song before, um, it's like one of those songs that's like truly, like annoyingly catchy, right? You're just like. Ah. Like, what in the world? Here's the thing I want you to think about, though, for a second. Think about this with me really quick. Steven, everybody. What in the world is that song about? I mean, I was trying to dig into it, and I was like, last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you, you gave it away? To who? Who did you give my heart away to? I mean, come on, what are they doing with it? Here's the thing. I promise this has a spiritual message, just, just you gotta hold out for it. But I need you guys to like, focus in on me for a second, okay? So just let's, for a few minutes, let's simmer down and connect. Okay, leaders, if you can help me out with this too. So, um, what does it mean to give your heart to someone? I actually wanna show this in like a display sort of way, make this interactive. So can my friend Autumn come on up? Me? Autumn, you do? Yes, okay. So Autumn, here's the deal. I, I just wanna show this whole idea of like giving your heart away is kinda odd, you know? A little bit, a little bit strange. So here's the thing, I want to kinda demonstrate what this means to give your heart to someone. So, I have here my heart, okay? All and this is the best I can do to, to figure out what this song is about. All of my affection and my emotions and my feelings and, and all of the lovey-dovey things in my life, they are wrapped up inside here, okay? My desire to be loved and, and, and affection and all that stuff. The passions of my heart, they are all wrapped up in this package. And here we go. Autumn, I want you to take my heart. Okay, I am giving you my heart. And, and I'm really, I'm hoping that you will take good care because that, and look, it says on the side right there. See that? Fragile. This is my heart. And I just, you know. I'm,
listen, everyone. This right here is what happens if you listen to the advice of that song. And you give your heart away to someone special or whoever it is. If you give your heart away, this is what's going to happen to it. Okay, this is called heartbreak. Let me tell you about something. There was a time in my life where I, um, I had really strong feelings for this girl. And I was in college. And, and here's the thing, though. I tried. I tried to give her my heart. Okay? I tried to give this girl my heart. And you know what she did with it? She broke it. <laughs> but here's the thing. Whose fault was it for that heartbreak? Mine? But she did it. You guys are catching on. So here's the thing. What I want to talk to you guys about tonight, really quickly, is this idea of giving your heart away. Okay, because let, let's get real for a minute. In, in college, I tried to give my heart to this girl, and she didn't reciprocate. She didn't love me the same way that I thought that I loved her. And I tried to, I was all wrapped up in the emotions of this idea, and she didn't feel the same way. So guess what happened? I got my heart broken, right? But here's the problem. What I want to talk to you guys about tonight is not giving your heart away to the wrong people. And I know you guys are in middle school, and you're like, we're not even like dating yet, right? Yeah. But here, here's why I want to talk to you guys about this now. And you guys can focus for a second. Eighth grade boys, listen up. The reason I'm talking to you guys about this now is so that when you're 17 and 18 and 20, you guys are going to remember what I say, hopefully, and it's going to stick. Because what I'm saying is actually really important. Because here's the thing. The problem is we try to give our heart away to the wrong people. We try to give our heart away, and we end up getting our heart broken by people. Sometimes we get our heart broken in like because we're trying to, to have someone else Fulfill the needs inside of us to be loved, right? That's ultimately what happens. The whole idea of giving your heart away is like you're saying, I am trusting you. I'm putting all of my trust in you to fulfill my hopes and desires and dreams to be loved. And I'm placing all of that faith in you, person, to take care of that and meet my needs. But the problem is people are really bad. At that kind of love. Leader, guys, if you guys can sit with the eighth grade boys, I'd appreciate it. We're actually really, people are really bad at that kind of love. So what do we do? It, here's the thing. It's not only people that can break our heart. And I want you to catch this, because you're probably thinking like, yeah, I'm like totally not there. Which is fine. And good. But actually, we can give our heart away to... Other things, and here's what I mean by that. You can have your heart fully wrapped up in sports, let's say. Say you're like crazy good at soccer, and you devote tons of time and energy, and your passion is there, and you are just like, man, if I'm just super duper successful at soccer, then all of my, the, the desires of my heart will be fulfilled. I'll be successful. People will love me. And you get your whole heart wrapped up in that. Have you guys ever done something like that? Yeah. You put all of your hopes and dreams, and then, let's say you tear an ACL, or you break an ankle, or you get kicked off the team or something, and then what happens? You get your heart broken. It's not only people that can break your heart. Life can also break your heart when you get your heart wrapped up in the wrong things. So what do we do about this? What do we do? How, what do we do with our heart? How do we deal with heartbreak and avoid getting it broken? Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23, it says this. 
Guard your heart. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Guard your heart. How do you guys think you guard your heart? Is it, does that mean like you just like wrap it up and protect it so that like nothing can ever hurt it? And you just kind of like, all right, I got this. You know, I just need to like really protect my heart so, so that no one will ever penetrate and get inside of it. Yes, okay, there, my heart is protected. No one's going to get it. Is that what it means to guard your heart? Here's the problem with this, and I want to get real for a second. Because a lot of you guys have experienced heartbreak, whether it's from life or people. You've already experienced that kind of hardship. And you're, you're tempted to do this. You're tempted to say, you know what? That hurts so bad. I am never going to let anyone in my heart again. I'm just going to hide all of my emotions deep down inside so no one can ever hurt me again. Can I just tell you, that's, that's not the solution. In fact, that is going to lead to depression. That is going to lead to just being completely self-absorbed and focused on your own hurt and pain and insecurity and all of these things. You cannot just hide from the world. There's always going to be things that get inside and hurt you, no matter how hard you try to protect it. So what do we do? How do we guard our heart? Like it says here, right there clearly in scripture, guard your heart above all else. There's one solution and only one. And here's what I want to get at tonight. I believe scripture has a way for us to keep our heart from being broken. And it has to do with giving our heart to the right person. The only one, the only way our heart can be truly protected you guys know the answer, I think, at this point. It is in the arms of Jesus. We need to give our heart fully and completely, all of our devotion, all of our affection, the desires of our heart need to be placed at the feet of Jesus. And here's what I mean by that. Mark 12, 30, and Actually, the exact same thing in Luke 10, 27. It says, love the Lord your God with all of your heart. heart. You guys know what that means? It's talking about surrendering our heart. That song says, last Christmas, I gave you my heart. To give your heart away is like surrendering it. It's like me taking this, saying, okay, I can give this to a person. I can give this to a certain like passion that I have, like soccer or, or, or some sport or just something that you really want, or you place it in the hands of Jesus. You give it to the Lord. You say, God, I am fully placing my heart with you. And you know what happens when we do that? It keeps our heart safe and protected and guarded. But that's not all. When our heart is there in a right place, in a good place, it also gives us the freedom. We have access to God's love, okay? So here's what happens when you give your heart fully and completely to Jesus. He fills us up with his love. And you know what happens when we're full of the love of God? I'm not gonna throw it everywhere because you guys are gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna like gently give this away. Yeah. Yeah, me. Jesse. 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 Really good. That's why I'm doing that. A little, a little love for you, Autumn. A little love for you. A little love for you. Okay. You guys understand what I'm saying here, though? Hey, I'm right here. I'm Jesse not gonna throw Katie at you if you get you. out of your seat. I'm serious. So. When we have the love of Jesus living inside of us, we have the freedom, we have access to God's love. And we are, here's what the difference. My heart, my heart is still with the Lord completely. He's protecting me from harm. He is there with me all the time. I feel completely filled all the time with God's love. 
I feel safe. I feel whole. And guys, here's what I want you to understand. I'm not just saying some random silly thing for fun. I know this is fun and interesting or whatever, but this is actually true. When you are filled with the love of God, when you have Jesus Christ living inside of you, you are spilling over with love. So much to the point that no matter what happens, no matter if you, you get your heart broken by some girl or if you get disappointed by something else in life, you're still safe in the presence of God. You still feel completely whole and you can still give your love away. So in this song, it says, this year to keep me from tears, I gave it to someone special. I hope that in that song, George Michael, who's the singer of Wham, that sings that song, I hope he was talking about Jesus. The reality is he probably wasn't. But that's the challenge I want to challenge you guys with, is that this year, instead of giving your heart away to some person or to some desire of your heart, instead that you guys would completely and wholly give your heart to Jesus. And here's why. Jesus was the ultimate gift from heaven. When he came down as a tiny little baby, I can, cannot even imagine. God up in heaven knew what was going to happen even when he was that tiny little baby in a manger. He knew what was going to happen. And I can tell you, I'm a dad now, and my little guy is two years old. And can I just tell you that I cannot even fathom anything happening to him. And what Jesus did is he knew what was going to happen to his one and only son, Jesus Christ. He knew that he was going to eventually grow up, live a perfect life, and then die on the cross, a horrible, painful death for our sin. He never did anything wrong. Nothing. He lived a perfect life. He had no sin whatsoever. But he did that as the ultimate gift for us. And all that he wants in return, Richard, I'm talking to you. Uh -huh. All that he wants in return is our heart. <laughs> That's it. All he wants is for us to give our heart to him fully and completely. And from that place, we are whole and secure and we are completely loved. And so that's my challenge for you guys today. Romans 10, chapter 10, verse 10 says this. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So when we believe Jesus in our hearts, we confess it with our mouth. Amen. And the first step is to give our heart to Jesus. And we confess it with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. So I'm going to pray. And if you guys have never made that decision, if you, you know, if maybe you've just been putting your heart in the wrong place or you just don't even know what's going on inside your heart. I just want to challenge each and every one of you to give your heart to the Lord, to give your heart to Jesus. Let that be the gift that you give this year is giving your heart to the Lord completely because he has given you everything. And all of your sense of security and wholeness will come from him. Let's pray together. God, thank you so much for just the truth of your word. Thank you that we get to learn about the gospel. We get to hear the Christmas story. And we read about it in the gospel and how amazing it is that you sacrificed your own life. You gave up your own life to save us from our sin. Thank you for that sacrifice. And I just pray for anyone here tonight. Just go ahead and pray with me. If you've never prayed to give your life to Jesus, you can pray this prayer. God, I know that I've sinned. I know that I've made mistakes. And I want to follow you. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the grave. And that you are now in heaven. And I place my trust in you. Please forgive me of my sin. 
and take me to heaven to be with you. And for everyone else, God, I just pray that if, if they're challenged by this message, I, I just pray that you would speak to them in their heart about the areas of their life where they're still not fully devoted to you and, they, and that they're trying to give their heart away to other passions and desires instead of fully devoting it to you. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, one quick announcement before we head to our small groups. Leaders, we, um, we epically failed at check-in today because of the Wi-Fi. So, leaders, please write down every single student who's here. If you guys are a guest, it's your first time. Um, definitely want to make sure that, that we, we write down your names and stuff. So, leaders, help me out by doing that. All right, we're going to dismiss um, groups at a time. And so, girls... Um, let's see, um, no, you guys can be the big boy upstairs. So, how about guys over here? Six straight guys.